It is a women's bantamweight matchup between Holly Holm and Ronda Rousey. All right, so here's the all-time great, the UFC Hall of Famer, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Of course, she took part in the first women's fight in UFC history back at UFC 157. Went on to fame and fortune, her legacy as well established as any woman in the game. I met Ronda Rousey back at the Olympics in 2008 as a young girl became a Olympic bronze medalist. That was unheard of for someone to do that. And she took that star power and that ability to grapple and applied it right to a mixed martial arts career where she not only captured the UFC title, but also defended it on a number of occasions with her patented armbar. Every time Ronda fought, people tuned in, they loved it, it was always exciting. And some wondered if she would ever make this walk again. Well, here is Ronda Rousey back in this arena, and if her pre-fight talk is any indication, she's got a point to prove here tonight. All right, here she is, and still one of the best bantamweights or featherweights on this UFC roster, Holly Holm. She has had Mike Winklejohn in her ear since she was 16, 17 years old, and she still believes she is adding layers to her striking game and getting better like a fine one. Holly Holm is the type of fighter that the canvas is completely open to painting on. Holly Holm was the 2012 female boxer of the year. Crazy. Then after all that time away from boxing, she then becomes the UFC champion and does that with a variation of skills, not just boxing. As you see in the Megan Anderson fight, when things got tough on the feet, she had an ability to take it to the ground and use her grappling to win that fight. But the biggest moment was the knockout of Ronda Rousey when she was a massive underdog to capture her first UFC championship. Maybe the most signature win in UFC history for any man or woman and one of the best highlights you will ever see. Holly Holm looking for more where that came from here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the former UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world, Rowdy Ronda. And now we your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a boxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, six losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Holly, the preacher's daughter. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Well, this is one of the best first round fighters in UFC history. Former UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, Ronda Rousey. Nine career wins by armbar. Eight of those have come in round number one. So you can expect Rousey to go to that back and take down early. We'll see if she can get yet another dominant submission tonight. Well, her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing it over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, that 
that right hand is on point. Nice punch there. Well, Rousey's got the tie clinch now. So there's no tell on that leg kick. Just over three minutes to go. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. All right, so she lands yet another leg kick there. She's landed several in the round, and now you see the damage. It's obvious on the other side. I mean, look at the redness in the leg, the bruising, the welts on the leg That's from those leg kicks. It's unbelievable to watch someone land that kick over and over again. But if it's working, why would you change it? Keep going to the well. Big punch landing. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, brutal knee to the body. Beautiful kick. Left hand punch from the punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbows. Nice strike. And she misses with the left punch there. Rousey gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Again, they will clinch. We'll see how it goes. And potentially a critical takedown. Oh, there. Massive shot, man. How's she going to try to find the next shot that will finish the fight? Ten seconds to go in round one. Oh, that's a nice job by her there to reverse the position on the She was in trouble. Now she is the one handing out the punishment. Great change of position very quickly. So that's the end of the round. Lot to like in there, DC, particularly when it comes to her offensive wrestling. She's evolving, right? She's gotten better. She did not have this skill set before. Now you watch her and she looks like an Olympian. She looks like a girl that can wrestle at the highest levels. She scored so many takedowns in that round. Her wrestling coach must be very proud. Round two is underway. Still stand. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike. Girl. She's got to get out to the center of the option, practice the case, so that she can evade her opponent for finishing. Big knee to the body. Nice body. Oh, now she's got... What a beautiful takedown. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here, just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Holm. Look at how she drives her knee right into her opponent's midsection. Swing and a big miss by Rousey. Leg kick. Rousey gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, oh beautiful level change. Oh, straight right. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Rousey gets in the clinch yet again. Now she's got the Muay Thai plum. Right under the elbow. By the Battling for hooks. Holm gets caught with that punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, beautiful job by her to raise that knee and ultimately land. So fast and really under.
understanding what type of space she needs to land that knee. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. the first striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's gonna finish the fight. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Big kick lands. So the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so there is the horn, so we will see another round. You thought maybe with that knockdown that that could have been the end. You thought it was over. People don't usually get up from those types of strikes. She took that big punch, continued to plod forward. But if she does not move her head, her night will be over very quickly. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. Well, Holmes' eye appears to be closing up by the second. Oh, and she gives up her back. This is not a fighter you want anywhere near your backside. We could get a finish here in not too distant future. Yes, she's very dangerous from the top. She's so good at controlling the hip. She's so good at just being aware and taking advantage of any opportunity to finish that now she finds herself taking her back with the chance to try to end this fight. She's had a lot of moments in the fight. You know, her one is very good, but you're not even getting one, two. What about the one, two? What about the one, two, three? How about an uppercut following the three strikes? Allow it to bring together. Be confident in knowing that you have practiced this. You are ready to land in combination. Let it flow. there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now. After taking such a massive hit. Strike landed there by Rouse. And they separate. Fantastic fight by both of these women. High level striking, great cardio, great fight. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here? I'm not sure how much her opponent can, can take. The clear sense of urgency here tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautiful. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. And she connects with a punch there. We'll see if she does. That'll do it!
So a seminal moment in her young career here tonight as she gets the win by TKO. That is how you make noise and make a statement to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 27 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Holly, the Preacher's Daughter. She is smiling ear to ear and hard to blame her after, after she gets the win tonight by TKO. And really, everything she said about this fight coming in played out that way on fight. Sometimes you can say a lot of things and you're not sure it's actually going to happen. Tonight, everything she said would happen did. Very rare, but she should be very proud of the work she got done tonight.